We will, we will now proceed with the, the showcase presentation. Uh, I guess the two artists are here. Yep, yeah. uh, I can introduce them. Kazike and Regile Jane. Analog, analog modular synthesizers. Can you? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. uh, we would like to thank Adriana for inviting us to this beautiful conference. And I think we have been invited to represent the analog part, at least for, for a part of the analog part. And so we um, would like to provide you with the analog experience, the sound experience. And, um, Oh, and I think we have been invited for the analog part because we are manufacturing and producing analog uh, sound machines, synthesizers. And um, we are going to use the most analog um, sound that a human can produce, which is the, the human voice, uh, as a sound source to be then synthesized with an um, analog um, synthesizer. That's like this. <laughs> Um, but in order to, that we can use this, um, uh, this voice as a source, we need some input. And um, so we have chosen to make a sample of a text of Alexander R. Galloway, who was so kindly to, to provide it, to give it to us. Uh, it's a recent text from January, and um, we made a kind of uh, disco sample out of it. And I would like to, just to tell you, you don't need to try to understand exactly what you are going, we are going to say, uh, rather than to just experience what happens acoustically. This, I think it's the best. Thank you. Have 
be replaced by an attention to sensation, perception, effect, desire, intensity, experience, evidence, non-human cognition and machinic life. Again, the question. In an age when data and information are otherwise, why have some of our best thinkers fallen back on characteristically analog themes? All thought is a capacity to grasp the division of a whole. The divisions of a whole of absolutely any kind. Digital segments must have a finite set of possible values. The number of values in the set can be anywhere between two and a very large number that's not infinity. A very large number that's not infinity. True analog philosophy will prefer to accentuate the intermixing of the digital and the analog. For analog philosophy, the analog is not simply the negation or inversion of the digital, but the condition in which the digital analog distinction breaks down. Analog philosophers will thus deny the autonomy of the digital and by extension will deny the autonomy of the analog. To be sure, there is nothing more analog than to deny the autonomy of the analog. Oh, four days long gone, when intellectuals sparred over symbolic economies and cultural logics. One others had each other about aperture and the pleasures of textuality. How quaint would it seem today for a critic to proclaim that there is nothing outside of the text? Who speaks that way anymore? Who speaks of word, symbol, text, code, economy, social structures, or cultural logics? Of course, many of us still do. Nevertheless, this language feels reminiscence of another time. Or, oh, to be more precise, the language of language is reminiscence of another time. The world is a Russian data, yet these days it is much more common to encounter scholarly texts on a series of distinctly non-digital themes. Books about effect or sensation. Treatises on aesthetics as first philosophy. Essays on the ethical charm, turning away from the political. Or on the real materiality, turning away from symbolic abstraction. Manifestors proclaiming that there is nothing outside of the real. A generation ago, the theoretical humanities was fixated on codes, logics, the arrangement of text, and the machination of the symbolic order. Today, the theoretical humanities is more likely to address topics such as perception, experience, and determinacy or contingency. Why in the digital age have some of our best thinkers turned toward characteristically analog themes? Why in the digital age have some of our best thinkers turned toward characteristically analog themes? The analog is a mode of mediation, but it also undeniably has a relation to the real, the impossible, randomness, the irrational, the continuous, in ways completely inaccessible to the digital. So, the digital and the analog are co-equal in the fact of representation, but different in the how of representation. As Ian Gillard himself admitted, there is no language in the analog, except for language of expressive movements, paralinguistic signs, dress, and screams. 
that is to say the language formed exclusively of real elements. That is to say a language formed exclusively of real elements. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, it was a great moment. Does anyone? Oh yeah. Want to, <laughs> does anyone want to to ask something to to these uh, two artists? Uh, first, first off, uh, you know, a comment. Uh, as usual, uh, I really wanted to uh, put those machines on top of the piano. Uh, but we would have gotten into a lot of trouble with the administration. Uh, but here's an actual question that I know the answer to, uh, but I think it's an important question to ask. Why do you build them so big when you could do Arduino and, and uh, uh, Eurorack, the, the miniature with, with mini jacks instead of the big fat quarter inch jacks? Why do you build them so big? Um, for analog, it's not very big, by the way. Uh, but um, I need these machines for also for the end for to create some sounds to go out of the show. And I need also uh, one oscillator bank to remove Fragili's voice, yeah. the original voice, uh, to the to the new one. And uh, so I can man manipulate all these. Um, uh, Waveforms. There comes three different waveforms, and to, to uh, the this kind of spectral uh, machine on the right side is able to manipulate these sounds. To why you manufacture ah, you want to know why I they no, because he's asking this one. No, 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 because it's like this. There's no 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 answer for this. Of course, I can use I could use a computer even or uh, Eurorack also. But as Radhiti told in the beginning, we are manufacturing this kind of machines, and that's why uh, we have this here. And also the haptic, it's much better than computer. Computer is portable, okay, but this is more like, so to feel something, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else uh, want to ask something or comment? Um, no? Okay. Well, thank you again. Yeah. <laughs>